questions. My ex-boyfriend will always be better at what? Those answers. Baby's got back. Get a light. Bigger bra. Join me, Bob Eubanks, for Newlywed Game episodes not seen for nearly 20 years. Coming up next on Buzzer. You are all just Jim Dandy. Oh, Brilliant. Yeah. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful faces and bodies on this very stage yes. tomorrow. Okay. Listen, what are you doing these days with your life? Well, I just finished doing a play in Detroit. That's over. Oh, that's it. So you got nothing to say. <laughs> Eight people yeah. from Detroit saw you. And they appreciated your performance. You and we appreciate this? yours. Yes. Join us uh, tomorrow for Match Game 77. I'm Gene Rayburn. Tally Hall. <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking from Match Game 77. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. From Hollywood, it's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's newlyweds. This couple exchanged their vows 15 months ago, Yolanda and Lawrence Howard. Our next couple tied the knot four months ago, Christy and Evan Pollard. This couple walked down the aisle 13 months ago, Lori and Ted Jerry. And our final couple traded rings 16 months ago, Tamara and Glenn Tyler. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubank! Yeah! Don't do that again. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to the newlywed game. We're glad you could join us today and glad you could join us today. And we're very glad that you could... Are you ready to play this game? <laughs> then I'll tell you what. Ooh, we got a loud one over there in seat number three. <laughs> Ladies, if you would, please go off to the soundproof room. And while you're gone, we'll ask the husband some questions. So the way you go, all right? And gentlemen, around one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Remember now, if her answer matches your prediction, you get five points. And remember also, it's the couple with the most points at the end of the show that wins that great second honeymoon. Lawrence, you ready? <laughs> I can tell Lawrence is ready. <laughs> First question, gentlemen, for five points. Will your wife say your greatest assets are physical, Financial or mental? Your greatest assets, Glenn, what are they? Physical, financial, or mental? I'm gonna have to say mental. They're mental. You're a smart guy. Uh, she thinks I am anyway. Well, you got her fooled. <laughs> Good for you. Evan. I would have to say physical. Your greatest assets are physical? Yes, sir. What are they? Uh, my body. Wonderful. <laughs> Lawrence. You're... I'd say physical. Well, go ahead and say it, sir. Physical. Thank you, all right. <laughs> so your greatest assets are physical. Oh, physical, definitely. Yeah, I got you. All right, Ted? I'd have to say definitely financial. Your greatest assets are financial. <laughs> Gentlemen, where on your wife's body will she say she shows the most visible signs of aging? Evan? I'd have to say around her eyes. Around that's her big, eyes. That's a big thing for her. Okay, She's Lawrence? always asking. I'd say her stomach. Her stomach. Whew, Lawrence, Ted. Where does how she about show? Uh, her back end? Well, how about it? <laughs> that's her... her, her, her well, she's, she's most concerned with it, so I think that's what she'll say. You tell say. me gravity has taken over? <laughs> Glenn. Um, she's been complaining uh, about her tummy getting a little poofy. Her so tummy's I'll... got a little poof. All right, last of our five-point questions. Gentlemen, how long will your wife say she needs to be warmed up before she's ready to go full speed ahead? How long, Lawrence? Well, I'm going to say five minutes, but I hope you got a car to give me a ride. Five Don't minutes, worry. all right, Ted? <laughs> She's already warmed up. <laughs> so what's your answer? Now. <laughs> Zero is what you're telling me. Zero. Okay, Glenn? Uh, I'll have to go 10, 15 minutes. 10 well, minutes. which one, 10 or 15? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, Evan. I'd definitely say no time at all. No time at all. She's all right, gentlemen, right. thank you. We'll be right back to reunite these newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what the wives will say right after these messages.
Plaza Academy of Hosting presents Tossing to Commercial. We'll continue playing Password in just a moment, right after these messages. Don't you dare go away. Don't go away. Don't go away. Keep it right here on Buzzer. Everybody. Now, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a fabulous second honeymoon. So I am so glad you ladies are back. You've got some great energy, and we're going to have some. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to have some fun. <laughs> ladies, for five points, would you say your husband's greatest assets are mental, physical, or financial? His greatest asset, Lori? Oh, definitely financial. Oh. He's an accountant, and all he does is bean count day and night, account? money, money, money. Aren't accountants boring? Not mine. Really? No. He's wearing white socks. <laughs> I try Did you to dress him? That. I try. Yeah. <laughs> so his greatest assets are financial. Ted predicted you would say his greatest assets are financial. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Yolanda. His greatest assets, what are they? Mental, physical, or financial? It's got to be financial. Financial, yes, all right. Yes, yes. The guy's got financial. a little bread, is what you're telling me. He said his greatest assets are physical. Oh, now, he had heard. Physical. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you complain so much. Don't you like his body? I love his body. I see. But he, he's well, just oh, finance, 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 <laughs> finance. Yeah. Count that penny. Count that penny, yeah. <laughs> Christy, his greatest assets, are they mental, physical, or financial? Definitely physical, Bob. How come? His, I've never seen a finer butt on any man. Except for Is that right? I always squeeze it. It's like a Cupid doll or a teddy bear. Or Is that right? He doesn't have much hair. <laughs> His hair? <laughs> Keeps going. What, what, what business are you in, sir? The Marine Corps. Uh, what, what, do you work? I'm a Marine also, Bob. You're a Marine also? Yeah. Let, let me get it right. Now, who, who pulls rank at your house? Oh, boy. At home or at work, Bob? At, at work. <laughs> at work, it would be probably him. How about home? Definitely me, Bob. I see. Okay. He said his greatest assets are, card for me, please. They're physical. That's right. Yeah. 
Tamara. I would have to say mental. Definitely. Mental. Yeah, he's not definitely physical, the huh? of the family. Okay. He yeah. predicted you say his greatest assets are mental. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Next question, ladies. Tell me, where on your body do you show the most visible signs of aging? Yolanda, where do you show the most visible signs of aging? I think your husband's praying right now. Oh, yeah, I know. I think your husband uh, should be praying right now. It's got to be on my stomach. Your stomach. He said it would be your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Christy. Probably my boobs. Huh? My boobs, Bob. <laughs> Did you call me a boob? No, no, no. I heard you say your Bob's a boob. Is that what you said? <laughs> it's your boob. All right, he said your most physical. No, it's around your eyes. <laughs> that is what you are always taught. Do I look too old around my eyes or I'm getting wrinkled? Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow. I would have to say my butt. Your butt? Yeah. All right. Definitely. He said it would be your tummy. Oh. Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> You're always complaining about the little. He said you got a pooch. Oh, no. It's my butt's oh. a little saggy. Lori? You got a nice butt. Just a second, let me get Glenn out of trouble. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but you said she had a pooch of a stomach. But I said she has a nice butt. Yeah. But you also said she had a pooch of a stomach. That's what she says. Her words. <laughs> Come on, now, quote true. Yeah, I'm trying to help you out, but. Oh, okay. All right. I'd have to say definitely my butt. Your butt. He said definitely it would be your back end. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Next question, ladies. Think about this one. How long would you say you need to be warmed up before you're ready to go full speed ahead? How long, <laughs> Christy, do you need to be warmed up before you're ready to go full speed ahead? Probably zero seconds, Bob. Zero seconds. He said probably no time yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah. That's my girl. Tomorrow. About five minutes. Five minutes. He said about uh, 10 minutes. Yeah. You guys married? <laughs> Lori? No time at all. I'm usually ready no to go. No time at all. He said, uh, no time at all. Sure. <laughs> all right, Yolanda, how long does it take you? How oh, long do you no. need to be warmed up? Five minutes. Five minutes. He said, how about five minutes? All right. We'll be back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. More of those nutty newlyweds and me, Bob Eubanks, coming up on Buzzer.
Welcome back, everybody. All right, ladies, now your husbands are all secluded off stage in our soundproof area. It's your turn to predict what they will say. And remember, these questions are the 10 point questions. And here's our first one. Ladies, what major ripoff scam will your husband say he's the biggest sucker for? <laughs> ripoff scam. Christy, he's the biggest sucker for. I'd probably say cars, Bob. He likes car. old cars a lot. He likes old cars, all and right. He's a sucker. What do you think, Yolanda? He, he loves um, vintage cars, too. He vintage likes cars. cars. Yes, he's, okay. Yes, yeah. uh, you, yeah. Lori? I'd probably say weight loss scams. Weight loss scams. <laughs> Does he need to lose weight? <laughs> he thinks so. Yeah, I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean I, I think he needs to lose weight. However, he is a little chubby. But that, that's right okay. here. Yeah. Yeah. Tamara? <laughs> I would say classic cars. He loves old, older cars. Well, those are great rip-off scams, ladies. That's for sure. <laughs> ladies, what would your husband say is the one thing you could do to make him the happiest man on earth? What's the one thing you could do, Yolanda, to make him the happiest man on earth? Stop writing little checks. Stop writing checks. <laughs> okay. Lori? Stop going to the mall day and night. Stop, Stop going shopping. to the mall. Shopping. No more shopping. <laughs> Tamara? Make him a delicious crab dinner. That's a his crab dinner would make him the happy. Seafood. Boy, he's easy to please. Yes. Christy. <laughs> Ask for directions before we go somewhere instead of while on the way going to the trip. So you. Prior he, planning. He would like for you to ask for directions before you go somewhere. Yes. That would make him the happiest man on earth. Yes. Easy. I already cook. Okay. Next question, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? Now listen carefully. This is you talking. The next time that I want to stick it to my husband really bad, I'll just sigh and say, it's a shame he doesn't blank like my ex-boyfriend, who? <laughs> Give me a first name only, please. Lori? Um, that he doesn't cook like my ex-boyfriend. It's a shame ex that uh, Ted doesn't cook like your ex-boyfriend. First name? Tim. Tim. All right. Tamara? Kiss. Kiss? Yeah. He had really soft lips, and Glenn has really thin lips. What, what's, what's his name? <laughs> John. Yeah. Look at Christy think about this one. It's a shame, Christy, he doesn't what like your ex-boyfriend who? Give me back rubs as long as, oh, I'm going to get in trouble for this one. Steve? Steve. Give back rubs like Steve did, yeah. <laughs> Yolanda? It's a shame he doesn't take me out to eat like my ex-boyfriend Ron did all the time. Take you out to all eat all the, the time. time. Sure. Anything I gotcha. wanted. All right. Speaking of food, ladies, what kind of pie will your husband say makes you slobber like a pit bull? <laughs> this is our 25-point bonus question. I think it's funny. Tamara? Cherry, definitely. Cherry pie. Christy? Anything chocolate. Chocolate pie. Chocolate pie. Yolanda? Sweet potato. Sweet potato pie. Yes. Laurie? Anything chocolate. Chocolate pie. Ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husbands to compare actors on the new <laughs> game right after these messages. Fresh match game and family feud military episodes. November 11th on Buzzer. Let's play.
back, everybody. All four of our couples have points on the board. We'll see if they can add to it right now. Gentlemen, we're going to see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these are the 10 point questions. Here's our first one. Hey, guys, tell me, what major ripoff scam are you the biggest sucker for? Lawrence, what would that be, sir? Uh, honey, you go down here and buy this, and I'll pay you back next week. Oh, oh it's a scam. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, it's the well, scam that she scammer. lays down. That huh? is a ripoff scam, isn't it? Yeah. Do you ever get paid back? I'm broke right now. I got you, man. <laughs> hey, you're singing to the choir. I hear you. Okay. Uh, no, she predicted that uh, the ripoff scam that you are a sucker for is the old vintage car ripoff. Yeah, you'll have to discuss that one with her, too. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Really. Sorry. Uh, Evan, what ripoff scam are you the biggest sucker for? Uh, I'd have to say anything dealing with computers. Computers, all right. Christy said that you're a sucker for old car scams. One passion or another. One passion yeah. or another. What do you think about this, Glenn? Um, One of my favorite I've questions I've ever asked. I've got to do my homework myself. scam. Pardon me? <laughs> I've got to do my homework scam. My kids, my kids keep telling me they did their homework. I believe them. Oh, the, your kids? The oh, hey, they will scam you, won't they? Yeah. Been I just there, found out that. a big one last night. Tamara said the, the, your, it's the old classic car scam. You know how Man, you I hate this cars. question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dad, probably, she probably would say something like all scams, but I'll, if I had to pick a, uh, one area, it'd probably be real estate. Real estate, all right. She said, no, you fall for the... You fall for the old weight loss thing. Yeah. Oh, weight loss. Yeah. Oh, that's her scam. The old weight loss thing. Yeah. Gentlemen, what would you say is the one thing your wife could do to make you the happiest man on earth? What's the one thing, Evan, that she could do? Uh, family show, so I'd say cook. Cook. All right. She said, uh, no, ask for directions before you go somewhere. I always cook for you. <laughs> like the best cook he's ever been with. Well, like, he certainly didn't say it then. <laughs> what do you think, Glenn? One thing she could do to make you the happiest man on earth. Um, oral gratification. You know what? I think I'm going to come over and smack you with a pillow myself. <laughs> I think you should, Bob. Bring all the pillows. Bring all the pillows over here. Bring all I'm the pillows. I'm my show. It's never enough, Bob. It's never enough. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lose control. <laughs> Oh, Tamara, what'd you say? No, make you a crab dinner. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> Pervert. I'm so embarrassed. I am so embarrassed. <laughs> what do you want, Ted? <laughs> What'll make you happy? Well, you can start with... And it better be clean, Ted. <laughs> Cooking, cleaning, Just give me stop one answer. Shopping. One answer. <laughs> cooking. Cooking. She said, no, you want her to stop shopping. Oh, what is yeah. the one thing you always tell me not to do? Lawrence, what do you think about this, my friend? I ain't got to think, man. I'm tell you right now. Stop writing them checks. Really? That'll do it, huh? Stop she writing said, them checks, man. Hold the card up. I'm done. Yeah, stop writing those little checks. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to stop? Oh, man. Sit down, Lawrence. I got more questions. Maybe you can win a honeymoon or something. <laughs> Except for Glenn, you can't win if you do have more points. <laughs> Last of right. our 10 point questions. Gentlemen, how would your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. The next time I want to stick it to my husband really bad, I'll just sigh and say, you know, it's a shame he doesn't blink like my ex-boyfriend who. All right, Glenn, I'll try you one more time. <laughs> she wants to stick it to you really bad. She has to say, it's a shame you don't blank like my ex-boyfriend who? Kiss. Kiss, like your ex-boyfriend who? John. John. She said it would be kiss like John. You got it. 
Okay. Ted. Pay for all my bills. Like my ex-boyfriend. Tim. Tim. All right. She said, it's a shame that you don't cook like Tim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how can, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. How, wait, I want to know how she could complain about cooking when she doesn't even cook herself. That's why I have something to do with That's me. why she wants Tim to cook again. Yeah. Lawrence. Oh, Shame man. you don't blank like her ex-boyfriend who, Lawrence? Blank. Fill in the blank in the who. Uh, I'm gonna answer this one, but she gonna be in trouble whether it's wrong yeah. or right. <laughs> uh, say like, maybe I just don't shovel out money like Ron did. Shovel out money like Ron, all right? Yeah. She said it's a shame that he doesn't take her out to eat a lot like Ron did. Well, that's shoveling out money. The <laughs> <laughs> What's the judge say? <laughs> Damn. No. <laughs> judge is in a bad mood. Glenn caused it though. Yeah. Maybe he better get something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Evan? Boy, she had an answer right away on this one. She better not have. Oh. Because I'm telling Actually, you now. She had two or three answers. I had to no pin her down to one. There's no comparison. <laughs> Woo, there's no well, she comparison. Did. Shame you don't what? Like her ex-boyfriend who? I guess uh, go out, go to the movies. All like right. Steve. Now, you know what she said? Nah. Like who? Steve. Steve. No, she said, it's a shame that uh, you don't give good back rubs like Steve did. <laughs> and guess what? I'm still not going to give them either. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer! You're going to Hawaii! Stop dreaming and start packing. Pleasant Hawaiian holidays, America's number one choice to Hawaii is whisking you away to the outrigger Waikiki Hotel. The location on the beach where you can enjoy fabulous views of Diamond Head. And you're only steps away from Waikiki's glittering nightlife. Aloha and enjoy your second honeymoon. Back to you, Bob. All right, John, thank you very much. 25-point bonus question for 25 points, gentlemen. What kind of pie makes your wife slobber like a pit bull? Let's go to couple number three, Evan and Christy with 10. 25 gives you 35. Evan, take over the lead. What kind of pie? Cheesecake. Cheesecake. She predicted you would say chocolate pie. Makes her slobber like a pit bull. Cheesecake's couple, not a pie. Couple number one, Ted and Laura. You have 15, 25 would give you 40. Take over the lead, Ted, with the correct answer. I'll go with chocolate. Chocolate. She Woo! said chocolate. You got it. Okay. <laughs> couple number two, Lawrence and Yolanda with 20. 25 gives you 45. Get it right. You're in first place. Lawrence, what's your answer? Uh, I'd have to say a potato pie. Potato pie. She said it would be sweet hey! potato pie. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh. Couple number four, Glenn and Tamara, you have 15, 25 would give you 40. What's your answer? Apple. Apple pie, she said. Cherry pie, that means a couple number two. Lawrence and Yolanda, you are nearly one game. Grand prize winners. There you go to Hawaii. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to all of our couples. I'm Bob Eubanks. Hey, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Today's newlyweds. This couple exchanged drinks 15 months ago, Leslie and Ted Ede. Our next couple recited their vows 18 months ago, Kayla and Ray Dunn. This couple joined together 17 months ago, Sarah and Branch Brown. And our final couple made it official nine months ago, Michelle and Bill McLaren. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks! Thank you, thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. We're glad you could join us today. Hello, couples. Hello, Bob. Are you ready to play this game? Yeah. Ready. Well, I'll tell you what. Ladies, we're going to send you off to the soundproof booth.
can't say that, but I've tried it again. The soundproof booth. If you would get up and go right now. And gentlemen around one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict. Your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. And remember, each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that fabulous second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone. Here's question number one. Gentlemen, if your wife could make just one change in your bedroom, will she say she would prefer things to be louder, softer, or longer? Bill, change in your bedroom. Yeah, it'd have to be softer. Softer. Ray? It'd have to be louder, Bob. Louder? Huh? Yes. I don't talk much. You don't? No, I let my action do the talking. What do you do for a living, sir? Marine Corps. Oh, I've done. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Ted? Longer. Definitely longer. longer. All right, Branch? Definitely longer. She gets, uh, stay awake, please stay awake. Stay awake, please stay yeah. awake. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Gentlemen, what's the last item or object your wife will say she threatened you with? Last uh, item or object she threatened you with, Ray? Um, probably a divorce. Divorce? <laughs> I guess that's an item or an object. I don't know. <laughs> Ted? Uh, say a knife. A knife, huh? A knife. A knife? <laughs> she threatened you with a knife? Uh, yeah. Threatened to cut off all your hair, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, she did already. <laughs> Boy, she follows through, doesn't she? Branch? Uh, her teeth. Uh, she threatened to bite me uh, her teeth. on the way here yesterday, actually. Oh. Okay. Bill? A candle. She threatened you with a candle. Was it, it was lit? Big... No. <laughs> no. Okay. I have a big candle on our dresser, and this morning she picked it up, in fact, and threatened to kind of beat me over the head. Really? Yeah. Wow. Last of our five point questions. Gentlemen, what's the one thing your wife will say is wrong with her belly button? Dad, what's the one thing she'll say is wrong with her belly button? It's not straight enough. It's not straight, okay. Branch? She would say that her belly sticks out too far with her belly button. It's too far away from where her abdomen muscles are. Really? How'd that happen? Uh, it's, he's about eight months old and his name is Brody. Oh! <laughs> gotcha. Bill? Probably that it stinks. It stinks? Yeah, it's just, you know, I, if I ever go to play around there or anything, she, uh, she gets nervous. She's gonna about be that. real thrilled that you said I that. Know, you know that. Yeah, Ray. Probably because she got a tattoo around it. She got a tattoo around her belly button. But uh, when she was pregnant with the la with my first daughter, it stretched out. Her tattoo stretched. Yes. Yeah. What's the tattoo of? It's uh, two roses. So now she has a whole bouquet. Is that what around. you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be right back to reunite the newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. The Buzzer Academy of Hosting presents Tossing to Commercial. We'll continue playing Fastbird in just a moment, right after these messages. Don't you dare go away. Don't go away. Don't go away. Keep it right here on Buzzer.
everybody. Okay, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. Couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon. So the ladies are back. Add some pretty to this staff. You ready, ladies? Here's your first question for five points. Tell me, if you could make just one change in your bedroom, would you say you would prefer things to be softer, longer, or louder? Sarah, one change in your bedroom. You want things to be softer, longer, or louder? Longer all the way, baby. The longer the better. <laughs> all right, he predicted you would say longer all the way, baby. Yeah. He, he, uh, he said he has trouble staying awake. Yes, he does. I work hard. Oh, wow. Leslie. Absolutely longer. Longer. He said absolutely longer. Yeah. Right, Tina. Louder. Louder. He's he predicted too you would quiet. say. Pardon me? He's too quiet. He's quiet? He's too quiet. He doesn't well, speak. While you were gone, he just rattled on, screamed, yelled. <laughs> no, he didn't. He. Are you calling me a liar? Yes, because oh. he's too quiet. Oh, all right. He said you want things to be uh, card louder. Yeah. Oh. Michelle. Um, I think I'm going to say louder. Louder. He predicted you would say softer. Oh. Softer. Yeah. Why would you say softer? I things don't want to know. Loud enough. <laughs> Next question, ladies. Tell me, ladies, what's the last item or object you threatened your husband with? Last item or object you threatened your husband with, Les? Oh, God. Um, my fist? Your fist. All right. <laughs> Ted said you threatened him with a knife. <laughs> oh, my God. I did not. Yeah, I did. Why? My knife? Oh, yeah, when I, I left it on the I counter? Did. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you He's getting brutal with the pillow, Bob. Could you take it away from him? Yes, I will. Thank you. Well, maybe you a little later. Wrong. Just put it away. Uh, Kayla. Why? No sex. You threatened him with no sex? Doesn't matter to him. <laughs> He's quiet. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, he said that you threatened him. You threatened him with a divorce. <laughs> you are so wrong. Michelle. I forgot the question. <laughs> yeah, me too. What, what's the one, the last item or object you threatened your husband with? Oh yeah. Um, probably threatened to leave. To leave. All right. I he said you threatened him with a, a candle. This morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sarah. Oh, I'd go with the divorce too. With well, the divorce. All yeah. right. He, we get he, into it pretty good. He sometimes. said you threatened him with a uh, card, please. Your teeth. My teeth. <laughs> you're all the time going. I'm gonna bite you. No, I I'm say bite you. me. No, no, you're I, all. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to bite you if you'll stop it. Uh, <laughs> it's all in the interpretation, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Next question, ladies. What's the one thing you would say is wrong with your belly button? Kayla, what's wrong with your belly button? I'm pregnant. I I'm sorry, but what's wrong with your belly button? <laughs> My tattoo is all stretched out because I just had a baby. <laughs> you have a tattoo on your belly button? No, it's around my belly button. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I was stupid. Oh, <laughs> just thought I'd ask. Ray said that, uh, yeah, you stretched your tattoo. You got it. OK. <laughs> Michelle, one thing wrong with your belly button, he said. Oh, man. What do you think? It's an any. I don't know. It's it, an any. You know what he said? <laughs> he said, your belly button stinks. You. Oh my God! Can you believe he said that in front of this whole world oh, out here? Yeah, anything's possible. They're gonna call you stinky from now on. <laughs> Sarah. Oh, probably the fact that it's hiding between the rolls. It's hiding between the rolls. Yes. I just had a baby as well, and so it's right. still not he, exactly flat. He said like the one thing is that, is that uh, that your belly button sticks out too far from your abs. <laughs> well, because it's so far out. That's what you're well, trying to say. Well, because the rest of my stomach no. is, you know, kind of still out that's there. That's what I was trying to get That's partly at. your fault, my dear. That's exactly what I was getting yeah, at, Yeah, whatever. It's Good. his fault? Well, I guess it takes two to tango, but, you know. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, it's on. You're, you're blaming him. Uh, 
I'm not even going to go there. Uh, <laughs> Leslie, what's wrong with your belly button? <laughs> well, I'd say it's too ticklish. It's really, it's I'm, I'm really, ticklish, really ticklish. Huh? So. All right. He said, what's wrong with your belly button is it's not straight. What do you mean it's not straight? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, what you, they're not supposed to be straight. They're supposed to be round. What? Your belly button. It's Mine's round. Mine's straight. Uh -huh. Nah. Yeah. Uh, it is, Let too. No, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> they're round. We'll be back with the wives to see how well they predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. Hey, is the honeymoon over? More newlyweds and me, Bob Eubanks, coming up on Buzzer. Back to the newlywed game. All right, ladies, your husbands are now secluded off stage, and it's your turn to predict what they will say. I'll remind you, these are the 10-point questions. And here's our first one. Tell me, at what age will your husband say the average man goes from being a hot stud to a couch potato? <laughs> Kayla, at what age does he go from being a hot stud to a couch potato? 30. 30. How old is your husband? 21, but he's a lazy, lazy, lazy Marine. Really? <laughs> Boy. Okay, Les, at what age? Um, I'd have to say... About 30. I'll About 30. Mm -hmm. Hot stud to a couch potato. Well, yeah. How old he's, is your husband? He's 42 now. Oh, he's 42. <laughs> it's kind of before so my time So he hasn't hot studded thing. it in a long time, has yeah. he? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sarah? 24. 24. He goes from being a hot stud to a couch potato at the age of Well, 24. that's the age he is now and Mr. Procrastination. All right. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. Okay. Mm, what do nope. you think, Michelle? 37. He did all his studding days when we were dating. 37. <laughs> now he's just an old couch now potato. That's it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Next question, ladies. The last time your husband got into an article of your clothing, will he say it was more for your pleasure or his own pleasure? <laughs> last time he put on an article of your clothing, Leslie. His own. What did he put on? It was actually my underwear. He but, put on? <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, he was out, and I, I get his clothes ready for work. What do you mean he was out? He was out of clean underwear. So he put yours his... on? Well, I gave him mine, thinking he wouldn't notice, because they were kind of guy -y. I mean, they weren't real feminine. But he, I dress him every day for They weren't work. the kind in the back where... No, no, they no. weren't butt floss, no. No, not at all. No. I don't wear butt floss, though. So. No, no, me either. 
<laughs> Sarah? Um, probably for his own, because if he did, I don't his know about it. His own pleasure, I see. <laughs> okay, Michelle? Definitely his own. What did he put night. on, Michelle? Hmm? What did he put on? My underwear. He put on? Over, over his head. <laughs> over his head? <laughs> uh, I'll be there. Oh, Kayla's sitting over there just rubbing her hands together. <laughs> Yes, Kayla, what do you think about this one? His own. We share each other's, we share our jeans, and he really doesn't wear my clothes like my underwear or anything. Maybe my socks or my jeans, but that's about it. He wears your socks and your jeans. Okay, 25-point <laughs> bonus question. Ladies, the very first time, the very first time a bed, the very first time a bed actually got involved in your romantic shenanigans, will your husband say it was a king, a queen, a double, or a single? This is the very first time. Michelle? I think it was a king. A king. Kayla? A king. A king. Leslie? A double. A double. Sarah? A single. Single. All right, ladies, we'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the newlywed game right after these messages. Ted Hot Buzzer Honors Vets with an all-fresh match game and family feud military episodes. November 11th on Buzzer. Let's play! Hey, you guys are doing pretty good. Three of our couples have scored points. Couple number four is just having a good time. That's the lady with the stinky belly button down there. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these questions are now worth 10 points, and here's our first one. Tell me, gentlemen, at what age would you say the average man goes from being a hot stud to a couch potato? Ted, at what age do you, does the average guy go from being a hot stud to a couch potato? 
60. 60. All right, she says 30. 30. <laughs> Does that well, mean you're. You. Not you necessarily, you dumb. but I, I said can't average. Believe. Does that mean you're still a hot stud? Damn right I am. <laughs> Leslie, he's a hot stud. Yeah, he it's is. not what you said when he was gone. You know. Ray, you what age? I'd say 40. 40. All right, your wife said, uh, no, it's 30. 30. Oop. Hey, nice duck, man. That was good. <laughs> Bill. I'll say 40. 40. Your wife said uh, 37. <laughs> Why would you say that? That's how old I am. I know. <laughs> and guess what? According to her, you're no longer a hot stud. Oh, you are oh, a couch man. potato. <laughs> yes, sir. It's payback for my yeah. belly button answer, I guess. The old, yeah, Branch. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with 30. 30. Your wife said uh, 24. You said That's on the couch. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, but wait, I'm uh, gonna watch this. Hey, hey Am I inactive? No. Oh. Branch, let's, let's get the it. the lazy marine, baby. Yeah, let's get it figured out, man. First of all, you go to sleep during lovemaking, and you lay on the couch all the time. <laughs> now, you still think you're a hot stud? No, see, Bob's got to figure it out. Baby. Yeah. I do things, just not with her. Oh. oh. And probably will never again. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. The last time you got into an article of your wife's clothing, would you say it was more for her pleasure or your own pleasure? Ray? I'd say her pleasure. How, what'd you put on? Nothing. <laughs> what do you mean, and why would it be her pleasure? You, you obviously put on some of her clothing for her pleasure. What'd you put on, Ray? Uh, probably a nighty. You put on her nighty? Really, what color was it? <laughs> it was white. White, uh-huh. Where are you stationed? <laughs> San Diego. San Diego, yeah. Well, the guys at the base are going to really be, they're going to love to see this one. Yeah. Uh, she said that you put on the clothing for uh, Top Card. That's only one you need. No, for your own pleasure, not... Oop. <laughs> you, you put on my clothes. When did you put on my clothes? You never he, put on my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Bill? Uh, for her pleasure. For her, what'd you wear? This morning, I put on a pair of her panties on my head just to try to make her laugh. And that was for her pleasure? <laughs> All right. She I said, her uh, laugh. I wasn't yeah, she said you put the panties on your head for your own pleasure, big guy. <laughs> yeah. I had the I was... same panties, though. Okay, Branch? Uh, I'd have to say <laughs> for my What do you do for pleasure? a living, Branch? I'm a U.S. Marine, Bob. Thank you very much, okay? okay. I'd have to say for uh, my pleasure. And what did you put on? Uh, her flannel shirt. Her flannel shirt. Uh, she has a flannel shirt that I think looks a lot better on me than it does on uh, her. She so said it would be for her, your own well, pleasure. You got it. Mine. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Hey, Ted. Ted, look, when I asked this question, the top of your head started to shine. I know. <laughs> What's your answer? For her pleasure. And what'd you wear? Well, I was out of panties. I had to buy one of her, so I no. put her panties You wore on. her panties? You big pussy. Don't say it too loud. <laughs> Pardon, sir? Don't knows. say it too loud. I won't say that you wore her panties too loud. No. <laughs> All right. She said it was for. Uh, no. You were wearing them. Not me. Yeah, you were you. wearing them. Okay, couples, real quickly now. Couples, be, uh, before you, you're going to find two paddles. Uh, on one side, it reads she does, and the other side, it says he does. Now, I would like for you to sit back to back, if you would, please. Go right ahead. Sit back to back. I'm going to ask you some simple questions about yourselves, and I'd like you to hold up the side of the paddle that answers each question. The couples whose paddles match at least two out of three questions will score ten points. So everybody got your paddle? Take your paddle in your hand now. And uh, we'll start with couple number four. Bill and Michelle, if you're ready, here we go. Here are the questions. Who always has to have it their way? You got it right. You both <laughs> say she does. Okay. <laughs> Who runs late more? You both said he does. You got it. Okay. And uh, who needs cooking lessons more? You got them all three. You got 10 points. Good for you. All right. Very good indeed. Let's go to couple number one. You ready? Who throws the most tantrums? Nope. Uh, who hogs more of the bed? You got that one right. She does. And who enjoys sex more? Yeah, you got him. Two out of three. <laughs> okay, good for you. Couple number two. Ted and Leslie, you ready? Here's your question. Who gets stared at more often by strangers? Uh, no. He said she does. She said he does. 
Uh, who makes a bigger mess when getting ready in the morning? No, you missed that one too. Can you believe that? And who decides how long you have sex? You got one right. Okay. No points. Sorry about that. Couple number three. All right, couple number three. You ready? Who has to be babied the most when they get sick? She does. You're absolutely right. Who watches the stupidest TV shows? She does. Yes. And who decides when to have sex? Oh, you missed that one, but that's okay. You get two out of three. You got the points. Congratulations to you. All right. Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer. You're going to Jamaica. You'll stay at the Wyndham Rose Hall Golf and Beach Resort just outside of Montego Bay. Rose Hall offers championship golf, tennis, water sports, and a private white sand beach. Wyndham Rose Hall, the jewel of Jamaica. It's the perfect place for newlyweds. Back to you, Bob. Hi, right, John, thank you very much. Here's our 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, the very first time a bed actually got involved in your romantic shenanigans, was it a single, a double, a queen, or a king? The very first time. Let's go to couple number two. Ted and Leslie, you got five, 25, we give you 30. Take over the lead. Ted with the correct answer. Double. Double. She's up with a double. Yeah. They got one right. Couple number four. Bill and Michelle with 10, 25, gives you 35. First place if you get it right, Bill. A double. Double. She said it was a king size. Aww. Couple three. Ray and Kayla with 20, 25, gives you 45. Get it right. You're going to be in first place, Ray. Single. Single. She said it was a king's Aww. size. <laughs> oh. And couple number one, Branch and Sarah with 25. 25 gives you 50. Get it right, and you're going to Jamaica. What is your answer? The single, Bob. Single. She said yeah. single. Yeah. Branch and Sarah Brown. You're on Julie Red Game Grand Prize winners. Thanks to our couples. Thanks to you at home. Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.